Mesdames et Messieurs, je vous souhaite à toutes et à tous le bienvenu ce matin ici à la Bourse de Paris, le siège européen du groupe Nice or Next et le centre névralgique des marchés européens de Amsterdam, Bruxelles, Lisbonne et bien entendu Paris. Aaron Noonan, Ambassador Ocean. Ian Honor agus Chordiolig. Tá sé mar honor agus chúis mór áhas persenta. Fáilte a chorróv, chúi oscail vargi, stoc na horpa, hán sá i báras. Chún kélúra a jánav, ar ár éla náisúnta, lá le fárig. Lá, in a vógramid ár mród, as a vét éranich. Minister Noonan, dear Ambassador, honored guests and friends, it's an honor and a great personal pleasure to welcome you to open the European stock markets here in Paris to celebrate our national holiday, St. Patrick's Day, a day when we proclaim our pride in being Irish. A few facts, if you allow me, with regards to the present of presence of this group in the island of Ireland. Our cash equity markets list five Irish companies with a combined market capitalization of over 25 billion US dollars. Uh, indeed, there are two companies listed on NASDAQ which are eligible for moving over to the New York Stock Exchange. That's a, a small unknown company called Ryanair uh, and a life sciences company called Icon. We have 300 employees currently in Belfast um, in a state-of-the-art technology center of excellence. Uh, the primary roles there are developing the software for the trading uh, that takes place on our markets, uh, the operations and the corporate functions. And we launched our technology research and development center in Belfast to focus on developing leading edge, low latency market data software. Uh, and as any Irishman will tell you, an investment in Northern Ireland is an investment in Ireland. We had the pleasure of hosting Minister Noonan at the New York Stock Exchange last summer, and also uh, last year the Taoiseach under Kenny. Indeed, I'll be traveling on to New York where we're going to be hosting our annual Ireland Day at the New York Stock Exchange on Monday, uh, which brings together the leaders of the Irish business community uh, and major current and potential U.S. investors in Ireland. And there again, we'll have the privilege of uh, having Antishuk and Kenny as our guest of honor. Now, Enda Kenny's administration inherited the country in crisis, deep crisis, and certainly the harshest economic crisis in living memory. It is a tribute to Antishuk uh, and the coalition government, and indeed Mr. Noonan and his team that the country has made such tremendous progress, both economically and politically, in Europe in such a short period of time. Ireland is clearly on the right track. The vast majority of qualified observers in Europe and globally recognize that, and often use Ireland as an example that other Eurozone members in crisis should follow. Here in the European equity markets, we would encourage the Irish government to continue on the road which they have chosen, but also to continue to think about and legislate for growth in parallel to the painful but necessary austerity measures that are currently being applied. And perhaps contrary to some other Eurozone members who seem to think that increased taxation across the board is the answer to growing the economy, we would encourage the Irish government to be steadfast in defending its corporate taxation policies and in resisting a financial transaction tax that is not uniformly applied across the G20 nations. Indeed, as Churchill once said, for a nation to tax itself into prosperity, it's kind of like a man standing in a bucket trying to lift himself up by the handle. It has been said that a government doesn't gain the appreciation of the electorate until long after its mandate has passed. That may be true, but for the Irish women and Irish men living and working abroad, the sense of immense pride that we feel about Ireland, which dissipated considerably over the past few years, is finally returning. And that's due to the resilience of the Irish people, but also the quality of leadership of the current coalition government. Now, this pride is important not just for emotional or cultural reasons, but also for economic reasons. We have a clear responsibility at our level to be fervent ambassadors for inward investment to the island of Ireland, one of the most competitive, cultivated, and dynamic 
locations in the European Union with a highly skilled, motivated and, of course, a diverse workforce. Now more than ever, on the eve of St. Patrick's Day, that pride is important. And we can say with firm optimism that Ireland is back. Minister Noonan.